Hello and welcome to Ukraine Today. I'm Sergei Ganesian and today I'm joined by Valeria Chichibaya, a member of Ukrainian jury at Eurovision 2016. Valeria, thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for asking. So, Valeria, I know you that you are a long-term fan of uh, Eurovision and you were a fan of when you were a kid. So, tell me about a little bit about your impressions uh, at Eurovision 2016. Really, I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan, but it was a kind of tradition in my childhood, right? We usually watched it through with my mother and we decided who is good, who is bad. <laughs> it was a kind of discussion, you know? I think it's, I, I, when, when I'm grown and I think mom, my mom decided to study me a good taste through this competition good taste. because, yes, because uh, you know, it's always good and a bad taste in Eurovision, and it's for you to decide <laughs> whether it's good or bad. And how did you end up actually being a jury member? I have no idea. Somebody nominated me, I guess so, but I'm not familiar with the system, how they usually decide who will be included. But you probably were very happy when you received surprised. the news. Surprised. I was surprised. Surprised? Not happy? Yeah. Uh, it's a great responsibility. You should be ready for that. So usually happy, it's not that emotion. <laughs> so tell me about this responsibility. What did you feel when you were, when you had to choose who was the best? I'm a huge fan of uh, Jamala's music. And when I was thinking about the singers and songwriters and all the teams which are preparing for that competition somewhere around the Europe, I thought about them just like about Jamala. I thought it's so responsible. They are probably so nervous. Uh, it's a great opportunity, but still it's a huge stress for them. So I thought I should be you know, strong enough and good enough for those people to be there. So that is why I took it very seriously. And you seem to be taking it very seriously still when you're no longer part of Eurovision just personal I don't know. I'm not, I'm not asking myself such a question. Now I'm simply happy for Jamala. And how do you actually decide who is the best? Do you have any criteria to follow? Do you have any, I don't know, any way of looking things, of looking at things when you decide the winner? You know, they gave us a piece of paper and if you would see mine, you would decide I'm kind of mental or something because uh, lots of signs, a lot of signs like plus, minus, uh, a heart, a heart uh, with the... Uh, it, it was difficult, you Wait, know. Wait, what do these signs mean? For, m for me, they mean a lot. <laughs> for you, nothing, <laughs> I suppose. We Some usually kind of an equation or, or what? No, I decided to... Firstly, when it was a semi-final, I simply decided you know, to listen it with my heart. I uh, allowed myself to be like a simple listener. When it was a final, I already were ready a bit with the system. How will I score those uh, singers and s singers on Eurovision? And your score was based only on your preference, right? No, it was based on a system a small matrix, which I built for myself beforehand. Oh, wow. Yes. Included uh, um, lots of, you know, points of uh, that voting, like the quality of song, the quality of uh, performance, the loudness of applauses of the audience, and all the rest, you know, lots of them. I, I'm, not f I'm not sure whether it was six or seven columns in my paper, something like that. And who was your personal favorite? Uh, my pers personal favorite, like with my heart favorite, uh -huh. it was Georgia, of course. Why, Two of course. reasons, because I'm half Georgian and I feel for such a music. It's because of my blood. Uh, and also because they did a song, which uh, for me it's quite familiar because of that sound. They included something from Oasis, they included something from IDM Epoch, they included some elements of grunge, uh, which is, you know, my music. That's why I feel for them still. But uh, as a part of a jury, uh, I was supposed to be objective. That is why um, I scored with a difficult system. Mm, that's why I gave Georgia uh, for fifth place. Fifth place. Or something. Uh -huh. They were they were five in my list. Yeah. 
And you actually, yeah, you have Georgian, but you're Ukrainian still. And when Jamala won, what did you feel? Did you feel excited or? Um, I'm happy for that. You know, the purest happiness which I could ever feel in my life. I'm happy for her. She was it. Yeah, and I can't help but ask about Russian performance because there were a lot of rumors about this Ukraine-Russia confrontation, you know, well, kind of confrontation. So what do you think? I saw that Ukrainian jury didn't give the Russian singer any points. So was he that bad or was there any other reasons? I should ask you instead, what do you mean any points? There were no possibility to give zero points. We gave them as we gave them. Uh, my score for them was 24. And that's because, you know, I'm from radio. I'm a part of a jury, but I'm from radio media. And for me, it was, you know, the most important to value a song, uh, imagining it to play on air. And I must say that the song which presented Sergei Lazarev, it's kind of weak and plain for me, for air. Plain? Yeah, a bit, you know, you won't remember, remember it just the very next moment, I'm sure. You won't remember it. But still, many say that this contest was somewhat politicized because, uh, because of the song Jamala presented and because of the whole thing between Russia and Ukraine. And even in the final showdown, final uh, results, uh, there was so... Intriguing. This, yeah, there was so this tense uh, and Russian, uh, Russian score was announced right after, uh, right after Ukrainian. So do you think this uh, contest was politicized in any way? You, were, you know, it was gripping, gripping because of that situation. But was it really politicized? Uh, to tell you yes, to answer this question, yes, I should add some, you know, precise story. But any particular story I should mention in this context. Nobody called me, nobody asked me to do something. I have no idea what was going on on the social media because I haven't read at all. I decided not to interrupt. That is why I think I consider Eurovision contest is political, but not only in this year, usually. Every year political? Yeah, I think so, because it's a kind of competition between the countries. Uh, so it means the great level of um, geographical and political points will be included. That is why it's usually political. Maybe this year more political, but any stories to be had. Wow, in any case, Ukraine won and it will host the next Eurovision in 2015. So what are your plans exactly for this year? Will you be a part of it? I've got a brilliant idea of what to do next year. But now I'm almost all the time when I'm thinking about Eurovision and about that next year, um, I'm usually worried about the situation. I mean, the political situation in Ukraine. Um, I would be happy if we all have an opportunity to find our place in that situation, I mean, the next year in the Eurovision contest. And I wouldn't be totally disappointed if, you know, the power in Ukraine, uh, the government, I mean, will fail. Or maybe if... Fail in what way? I have no idea. They can do it. Because the previous Eurovision in Ukraine, it was scandal pretty much because of their corruptions and because of all this stuff. I believe this time it won't go that way. I believe it will be better. Really, considering the situation in Eastern Ukraine? Yeah, yeah, because I'm, you know, optimistic. And I believe that their cultural features, they usually change people. I believe uh, maybe this time because of that, you know, huge, brilliant, so bright uh, contest and Jamala, uh, and what she did uh, for us, for all of us, for Ukraine, I believe uh, it will change some way, somehow, the system here. Maybe only a few points will be changed, but still they will be changed. I believe in that. And from the other hand, I believe that Russia, they will force us even more to destabilize the system here. Uh, for us not to, ha not to have that opportunity to do the contest in Ukraine. That is why I'm worried and I am believing anyway that it will be okay. And we've got that important one year 
to decide whether we really worth to do that contest as Jamala worth to want that uh, win to win the contest or not. Well, uh, I really hope that uh, Ukraine will decide and that your hope uh, will come true. Valeria, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. You've been watching Viewpoint. I've been joined by Valeria Chachibaya, a member of Ukrainian jury at Eurovision 2016. Many thanks for watching us and I'll see you next time.